Linda, I'm going to have to hurry you. You've already won 260 pounds. That's yours to keep. No one can take that away from you. But if you want to win this car, I'm going to need an answer to Trevor's trick question. Sorry, sorry. You may consult your celebrity oracle for the final time. What do you think it's been? No, the answer is far too obvious. The point is never the obvious one. I don't see how it can be answered. No, no. If you think about it, it has to be. OK, time's up. For that brand new car, please answer Trevor's trick question now. Um, I'm going to go with my celebrity oracle. I think it's answer B. Oh, no. Oh, Linda. I'm so sorry. You've lost the car, my love. But you do get to keep the £260. Do what can I say? Come on, let's give her a round of applause. Bad luck, you won't know. I've heard they're actually not that good. How much did you win for her? Two hundred and sixty pounds. Yeah, she's okay. I mean, she's a midwife, so. Aww, didn't she get to try for the car? Yeah, yeah, I got her all the way up there, and then she blew it. Did you see Magda's letter? No, what letter? I left it out for you. She wants to leave. She's handed in her notice. Blimey. Oh. Oh. She's spelt unhappy with an E, look. Um, unhappy. What are we going to do? Is it too early for champagne? She won't leave. Anyway, she's a pain in the ass. You're not here during the day. All she does is mope around the house, banging on about how she misses potato soup and generally being unhappy. Well, we've got to find out why she's unhappy. Because we're too nice to her. You know, you grew up in a gulag. You can't handle that. You'd miss her if she weren't here. <sighs> Why? She doesn't do anything. Well, who's going to do all the washing and the cleaning and the it, ironing? It'll get done. Not by me, it won't. I've got a job. Yeah, so have I. Exactly. So if you get a chance, have a word with her. See if you can get her to change her mind. Mm. Mm. Bribe her with some beetroot. What was the question? Oh, I don't know. I forget now. It's natural history. It was a trick question, so she she can't blame herself. I want to know what the question was. Like I say, it doesn't matter. It matters to me. Why? Because I like questions. It was a trick question anyway. Trevor's trick question. So what was it? <sighs> All right. What is the world's tallest mammal? Giraffe. No. It was a trick question. You haven't even heard the options. Oh, OK. What's the world's tallest mammal? What are the options? Is it A, a giraffe? Yep, A, I go with A. Is it A, a giraffe, or B, a blue whale? A, it's a giraffe. Oh, God, I wish you'd listen. It's a trick question. It's a giraffe, it's a giraffe. It's a trick, it says... The trick is, there's no trick. They say mammal to make you think, wait a minute, a blue whale's a mammal, that must be it. It's a double bluff, it's a giraffe. Exactly. Obviously, I know that. So how come you went for blue whale? I didn't. It was her choice. She's the one who went for whale. After consulting you, how can a blue whale be taller than a giraffe? Well, in fairness to Linda, tallness is measured by the length of your backbone. So by that reckoning, a blue whale is, what, three times as tall as a giraffe? If you stand it upright next to a giraffe. Yes. You're right. It's unfair to measure whales lying down. But if you can't follow the logic, then... Unless you get the giraffe to lie down next to it. But then, I guess the giraffe would drown. Yep, yep. If you don't want to know what really happened, then... Maybe the whale's taller if you include the spurt of water. Magda. There's no milk. Oh, really? You must get some. Maybe you could go this afternoon? I will not be here this afternoon. I have interview. Oh, yes. For new job? Yeah. So maybe I'll get the milk. Yeah, I read your letter that you're leaving. Yes. You're not sure that's what you want to do? I think it's best. <sighs> OK, well, that's very sad. 
Just so you know, unhappy is spelt with an A, because it's unhappy, not unhippy. See, look, you put unhippy. I am unhappy. Mm, perfect. Not that you're unhappy, but you said it very well that time. And you'll know in future how to say it and spell it. Uh, where's the interview? At nail bar. Doing nails? Yes. I will be at Michaela's nail bar, do you know? Not right. Well, of course I don't know it. I will have training to be nail technician. Technicians they're called, are they? Yes. And it's a good job, so I hope I get Yeah. Oh, well, me too, if that's what you want. OK, well, see you. So, what will it be? The pasta with vegetables or the four cheese risotto? Oh, I don't know. That's a tough question. A or B? Rick, you want to help me out here? Yeah, you're really funny, you know that. Sorry? Rick was in a quiz show. I don't think Michael's interested in quiz shows. Oh, I am. I watch them all the time. Really? Yes. Some of the answers they give, the stupidity of the general public never ceases to amaze me. Oh, they're under a lot of pressure. Where do they get these people? Most of them are practically subhuman, if you ask me. It's easy sitting at There's home. this marvellous website where they list all the really stupid answers that people have given. Dunsesanddorks.com. Yes, that's the one. Have you seen it? Looked it up this morning. Oh, did you? Why'd you do that, then? No reason. Just fun, I guess. Yes, there was that one where they were asked, what's the capital of France? And they said F. <laughs> yeah, I think I will have the pasta. Can you imagine? All too easily. I mean, that's what used to be known as cretinism. Very different when you're there in the studio. I mean, it's wrong that they're allowed to have children, really. Could I have the pasta? So, how did you get on? Well, I'm not allowed to say contractually in case people don't watch. Oh, I'll be watching. Don't worry about that. I really wouldn't bother. It's trick or treat. When's it on? I wouldn't bother. Friday the 26th. Done during the day. I'll record it. Wouldn't miss it for the world. So, come on, then. Ask me one of the questions. No, I've forgotten them. Name the world's tallest mammal. Is it a giraffe or a blue whale? It's a trick question. It's not what you think. Please don't tell me you said blue whale. No, I didn't say blue whale. The woman I was partnering said blue whale. <laughs> that is a classic. Yes, isn't it? Could I please have the pasta? Make that two. Two pastas. <laughs> oh, dear. What an idiot. Can you stop going on about it? It was just a quiz show. I'm not even thinking about it anymore. Giraffe. It's a trick question, so it can't be the thing you think it is. Try again. I mean, I didn't get two goes, but answer it again. Trick question, blue whale or giraffe? Sorry, I still think it's giraffe. <sighs> well, anyway. But, but is that right? Well, what's it matter? The point is, when I got back from lunch, there was a message from the trick-or-treat people saying that Linda's husband had been on the phone claiming that I said I'd buy her the car if I was wrong. Did you say that? No, of course not. He was lying. Well, that's OK, then. But it makes you sick, doesn't it? He's just trying his luck. Obviously thinks everyone will be on her side because she's a midwife from the Lake District. I mean, what does she want with a car anyway? It's just greed. Oh, did you speak to Magda, by the way? Yeah, I tried to talk around, but uh, she seems pretty set on this new job, so... Looks like we're going to have to make do without her. Don't be silly. I'll have a word with her. You're going to have to go shopping tomorrow, though. Well, can't Magda go? She hasn't left yet. No. She told Sam that she's got to do a suitability assessment for this nail bar Suitability? Place. For a nail bar? How can you not be suitable? All you've got to do is clip people's nails and ask them where they went on holiday. You'd think she was applying for a pilot's licence. I mean, who are these people who have to go somewhere to have their nails clipped? There's no excuse for that. Unless maybe you've only got one hand. Can you believe it? Yes, I can. He actually asked the studio to send him a tape and then trawled through it just to prove whether or not I happened to mutter something about buying his wife a car. I mean, how petty is that? Not that petty. I mean, there's a brand new car in it for them. Well, I'm not buying him a car. I never said I would, and I wouldn't even if I said I would. Sorry, I'm confused. 
Did you or did you not say you'd buy them a car? What's it matter? It's supposed to be entertainment. Okay, so you didn't get the car. Move on. I have. Well done. Why do these people always want more? She had a great day. She visited the studio. She was on television. Met you. Well, yeah, she met me and went home with 260 pounds. On the bus. On the bus, admittedly. Let's write some jokes. What is that? It's a washing machine. It makes that noise when it needs emptying. I'll go and sort it out in a minute. Well, Dad, um, is everything okay? Yeah, why? Um, it's just there doesn't seem to be any food in the house at all. Yeah, there's not even any milk. Yeah, sorry about that, Ben. It's all right. Well, you know, milk comes from shops, so if there's no milk in the fridge, what do you think might be a good idea? Don't have cereal? Yep, yeah, don't have cereal. Well, like, so do you reckon Magda's gonna get that job? What, at the nail bar? No, you need people skills and a passport for that, so that's her out on two counts. No, right. Mm. No, it was a joke. Well, yeah, so, like, what are we gonna do in the meantime? Well, you don't have to starve. You're in a kitchen. Use your initiative. Initiative, yeah. All right. Uh, yeah, all right, we will. Um, Brilliant. so you, um, you hungry, Dad? Yeah, yeah, I'm a bit, actually. All right, then, uh, what do you fancy? Well, I'm easy. Should we get some bits out? No. Brilliant. <laughs> Isn't that pathetic? He actually got them to send him a tape. How small-minded can people get? Well, if there's a car at stake. Oh, she's never done a bloody show now. I mean, who watches it anyway? Pensioners and students and other lazy bastards. Where are all the wine glasses? What, you mean the magic self-cleaning ones? They don't seem to be doing their job, do they? Mm, all right, I admit, we do need Magda. Yes, and I have a world with her. I'll sort it out. Might not be that simple. Magda and I had a long talk on the phone today, and she finally came out with the real reason that she wants to leave. Well, we know, because she was unhappy. <laughs> yes, and the reason that she is unhappy is that you called her a dog. What? I didn't call her that. Well, she said to me that you did, and by then she was actually sobbing. Well, I don't know what to say. I didn't call her that, and she says I did, so that's that, isn't it? I'm just being misquoted all over the place. I was as petty as Linda's husband. I'd send off her a tape so I could prove it to you. Very hard to tell. All right. Watch it again. This time, listen. Just saying, I can't hear exactly. You what just you're missed saying. it because you're talking. Let's play it again. Come on, Linda. I'm going to need an answer. Is it A, a giraffe, or B, a blue whale? I'm telling you, it's blue. All right, here he comes. Listen to this shit. I'm going to hear. Linda, trust me. You are wrong. Why a car? So, what do you think? Do I say a car or the car? Very hard to tell. You're mumbling. Exactly. What I'm mumbling is a car. Listen. Well? I can't believe you were so petty to get him to send you a tape. Marty, there's a car at stake. You know what this is, don't you? It's not her. She's very nice. It's her stupid fat-faced husband egging her on. So it's all his fault? Yes. 
I didn't say the car, I said a car. So all I have to do is buy her some old banger. You think she'll be okay with the fact that it's not new? Well, she'll have to be greedy cow. Dad? Um... Sam, Ben, what am I saying here? Uh, what is it? It's the quiz show your dad did. Oh, yeah, trick or treat, mm. wicked. Yeah, watch. Car. All right, once more. Car. You gotta play the whole thing. No, no. What did I say? Car? Yeah, car. A car or the car? Well, it doesn't matter, Dad. If the answer was car, they should give you it. No, it's not the answer. You know, what was the answer? Giraffe. And you said car. No, I said blue whale. Uh, Dad, you know how Magda's gone? Yeah? Yeah, well, there's, like, nothing to eat in the house, so me and Ben were thinking we might as well go down and get some stuff in. Yeah, you know, from the shops or whatever. All right. Thanks. Great. Right, uh, yeah, well, the, uh, the only thing is we might need some cash. Right. Yeah. Right. 40 cover it? Probably 50. You know, what with the milk? Actually, you did call her a dog. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. Last week, in the kitchen. You were making a sandwich and I said, aren't you gonna clean up after yourself? Yeah, and I said Magda will do it. You said Magda will clear it. Why keep a dog and bark yourself? Did I say that? Yes, you did. Because I remember thinking, what a charming old English expression. Well, how does she hear it? It was a private conversation. She wasn't even in the room. You're always complaining about her talking in the kitchen. If you can hear her, stands to reason she could hear you. You know what you are? You're like a really crap episode of Columbo. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Oh, and uh, just one more question, if I may. Uh, would you say a blue whale is taller oh, than yeah. a giraffe? Shut up. I'm gonna put on weight if we don't get some proper food in. I gave Sam 50 pounds to do a food shop. Well, there's nothing in the fridge except a couple of pints of milk. The house is grinding to a halt. Well, it's got its advantages. Saves on washing up, saves on Magda. What you don't pay Magda, you buy takeaways with, is great. No, it's not. We can't carry on like this. You need to sort it out with Magda. Ah, now, the whole dog thing was a misunderstanding. So you didn't call her a dog? No. What happened was, I was in the kitchen, talking to Marty, making a sandwich. Magda was in here. Marty says to me, are you gonna clear up? All I said was, Magda will do it. Why keep a dog and bark yourself? And that's not calling her a dog? No, not to her face. It's different. I was having a private conversation which she chose to eavesdrop on, so really, when you think about it, it's her fault. Oh, come on. No, not, oh, come on. Any woman would be offended by that. You wouldn't call one of my friends that. Yeah, but they're not cleaners. Not cleaners? Uh, that's not what I meant. Yes, it is. That's a terrible thing to think about anyone. Never mind say. OK, OK. I'll apologise. I think you can do better than that. Buy her some flowers. No, oh, I'm not buying her flowers. I don't even buy you flowers. All right, I'll buy her flowers. And some chocolates. And a new ball. Good. It's going to be an expensive week for you, isn't it? Yeah, uh, the car thing isn't too bad. They've agreed to settle for a car to the value of my fee on the show, so... How much was that? £2,000. Standard. They don't pay anyone more than that. I got Roy Saunders on the show. He got £5,000. £5,000? He's a bloody weather forecaster. Sam? Uh, uh yeah. Yeah. Uh, was there any change? Uh, oh, yeah, uh, for the food. Um... Oh, no, the thing is, we, uh, we spent it all. On milk? Uh, no, no, we bought other stuff as well. You know, like, um, crisps and sandwiches and... You spent 50 pounds on sandwiches? Well, there was quite a few of us by then, so, uh, well, you know how it is, Dad.
It's a lot of car for two grand. Yeah, it's not really what I had in mind. Well, it's a terrific buy. It won't let you down. Mmm. Oh, go on, have a sit in it. Well, I'm not so sure, really. It's a great little car. They run and run, they do. Yeah. Low mileage as well. Yeah, I've heard they're not so good. Oh, I drive one myself. It's been great. Yeah. I think I read somewhere they're, they're prone to rusting. Not a speck of rust on this one. You're welcome to check it over if you like. No, you're all right. Uh, I'm not crazy about the colour anyway. What about this one? Yeah, OK. Um, it's not a bad car. You would need to do a bit of work to keep it on the road, though. You're the kind of person who likes to tinker on the weekends and so forth. Ah, uh, yeah, it's pretty much me. Yeah, well, you get what you pay for, of course. I mean, anything in this price range is a bit of a gamble. I like a bit of a gamble sometimes. To be honest, if you could stretch to this one, I, I would recommend it. It's a very good car. It comes with a year's warranty, whereas this one, obviously, it is cheaper, but in the long run, it's a false economy. It really is. Yeah. Yeah, I see your point. Yeah. No, I, I, I think I'll go for this one. Sorry, which one? The false economy one. Yeah, OK. Um, like I say, it's not a bad run around. Get you around town, but I wouldn't want you breaking down in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> no, I won't. Right, take a seat. Just the boring forms to fill out. Yeah, on that subject, I was wondering if you could let me have uh, an invoice for, I don't know, a little bit more, like £2,000 or something. Well, I can't falsify the paperwork, if that's what you mean. No, not at all. Just uh, an invoice with a slightly different price on it. Oh, I run a straight business here. I can't help you if you want me to lie. Oh, don't get me wrong. No one's talking about lying. But to me, that is lying. Well, it's not lying. It's just numbers on a piece of paper. I'm sorry, I can't help you. You won't get caught. <laughs> well, that's easy for you to say. Oh, come on. What's the worst that can happen? Look, my dad was in the motor trade, yeah? He got involved in all that sort of thing, false paperwork, clocking. Ended up doing 18 months. I was nine years old. Yeah, well... It broke him not being with his family. And when he came out, he sat me down and he made me swear never to get involved in anything like that. And I never have. Be like an insult to his memory. Yeah. Yeah, I understand. So, maybe I could just have some blank letterheads? Can you believe it? He actually threatened to call the police. I said, come on, you're supposed to be a second-hand car salesman. And what did you say to that? Oh, yeah, some smart-ass remark. What was it? Oh, just a pathetic little comment. What did he say? He said, well, you're supposed to be a comedian. I mean, that's just rude. It's funny, though. No, anyway, he's lost a good customer. I thought you might like to see this. What's this? I printed off that list of stupid answers from dunces-and-dorks.com. Makes for some very funny reading. Yeah, I'll bet. You're in at number 12, see? What? I took the liberty of submitting your answer. That's not my answer. I hope you don't mind. Number 12. Wow. Is this worldwide? Yes, yes, yes. Over 30,000 hits a day. <laughs> the cyber community seemed to be rather taken by your answer. Oh, dear. It's not my answer. In fact, one particular person in the chat room's even changed his sign-in name to Blue Whale <laughs> as a tribute. Really? What was it before, Mr. No Life Tragic Loser? Um, no, it was Michael, actually. Ouch. All right, £450, but with a full tank of petrol? OK, he'll, he'll pick it up tomorrow. OK, bye. Sorted. One car for Florence Bloody Nightingale. Which one did you get it? It's well, one of those. Is it the one that you circled? No, uh, that's not really a circle. That's more of a doodle. Mm. Oh, I see. It was just a run around. Get it from A to B. <laughs> what? It's ironic because the whole thing started with A and B. It was just funny. Hilarious. So, is she coming to collect it? No. One of Marty's friends is driving it up there. You should have asked Magda to do it. She needs the work. Yeah? Hmm. The nail bar job fell through. Oh, good. I mean, not good for her, good for us. Yeah. So she's coming back? Yeah. But you still owe her an apology. Not if she's coming back, I don't. Oh, 
Hi, Magda. Yeah. Well, those are for you. Oh, for me? Thank you. They're beautiful. And, um... Chocolates. Thank you. They're not chocolates for dog. <laughs> no, no, sorry about that misunderstanding. I think we've got a wires cross. Why keep a dog? It's an American expression. I picked it up off Marty. In my country, it's very bad to call woman dog. Is it? It's not bad to call woman dog here. Ah, uh, well, it's not ideal. Probably best not to. Mm. See, the thing is, we, we quite like dogs in this country. We don't tie them to trees and throw stones at them for bets. We do not do this in my country. No, I know. And nor should you. I, I'm just saying... So the, the nail bar didn't work out? No, I'm not suitable. Oh. No, I'm not cut out to be a nail technician. No, I'm good technician. I'm just... They say I'm not good at talking with customers. Hmm? Oh. Really? How are your nails today? Where have you go on holiday? And they had a problem with that? That sounded fine to me. So Michaela says I must not work there because I'm not a happy person to be around. Happy. Happy. I will get. Uh, no, I'll, I'll get it. It's fine. It's just, um, it's, it's quite a lot to be getting on with. Sorry to trouble you, sir. Detective Constable Reed. Just following up an inquiry about a car that was purchased by yourself. Car? Yeah, blue P Ridge Nissan, which I believe you handed over to uh, Mrs. Linda Parson from Keswick. Oh, that's right, the Nissan. Thing is, her husband's had it checked over by the AA. And it turns out it's a complete death trap. Really? Well, look, I, I had no idea. No, 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 sir. We know it's not your fault. We need to know where you got it from. Because if someone's charged you a couple of grand for what is essentially a coffin on wheels, we need to know about it. Oh, of course. Oh, that's very disappointing. I bought it as a present for her. So where did you get the car from, sir? I got it from... Actually, it was Marlin's Motors. I know that one. Bloke did look a bit shifty thinking about it. I wouldn't be surprised if he turned out to have a criminal background. Well, nothing surprises me, sir. You meet some right scum in this business. No, I bet. <laughs> 